Hello guys, I'm back. Um, um, some of you may know um, what happened recently because I posted uh, updates um, on YouTube in the um, community tab. And um, yeah, there's been a few days of shock or of um, kind of like re reorganization of one's own thoughts and re-visualization of um, the purpose and the future and of who God is and um, um, I came here to um, remind you that chasing after those uh, um, prophetic words or chasing after some of those um, confirmations um, are actually sometimes um, attacking your self-worth are actually sometimes um, you know it's as if like you're in the waiting and like it's you feel like anxious or you feel like um you can't do anything until like your king comes you know like you can't be in your purpose or you can't do what god tells you to do or like buy that house or get that job or go to that city where you want to be and where you feel like god told you to be because you feel like oh you haven't met your king yet and um, um but <laughs> funny thing is you um actually meet him when when you are doing the things that god told you to do without like searching for him without like searching for confirmations without searching for dates searching for months and like being in the like sort of anxiety like when does it happen when does it happen like just do your work you know if god told you to study the bible Get your worth together, get your um, assignment together, and go study the Bible. Don't worry about anything else. Because I was, I was trapped in that thing when um, you actually build, imagine, you actually think that God said something, but he actually didn't. You actually think that um, God showed you who it is, he actually didn't. Uh, he didn't it was your own your own ideals your own expectations your own um, and you know the funny thing is the enemy knows exactly where to attack he knows exactly where to attack because um, he knows your assignment he knows your purpose and he knows exactly where you attack to attack but what you need to do is like don't give up on um, establishing your worth and how do you explain that? Because he is coming to s disappoint. You know, the enemy is coming to disappoint. And you get disappointed when you build up your own stuff. Where you build up your own, um, like, how is it going to be? And, like, this and this and that. And God said this. But God will be like, no, you haven't listened. Like, I gave you, like, clear instructions and you're going somewhere else. I told you to establish your worth. I told you like you are now queen level like you can't just settle for less but you're still like chasing after those like things that are like lower frequency you're your queen level you have like as an assignment you have like a purpose you need a man who is in that purpose who is supporting you in that purpose and you guys support each other in the same purpose and you can't just lower yourself just because like you're hearing stuff about prodigals coming back and you're you can't every situation is different but you guys saw what happened to me and uh god was like pretty clear that like that was 
um, distracting me from my purpose and like actually making me um, being the like kind of like stuck zone when you're like waiting because uh, you can't like buy a house without having a man first or you can't um, I don't know um, settle somewhere where God called you to be without having a man with you you feel that but that's the enemy that's not from God that's the enemy. Um, you need to be at work. What well, I said it, Dunami's wise. You need to be at work and you need to not worry about it. You need to do your stuff and like, and um, God is sovereign, okay? He's capable to bring somebody from across the globe if you are prepared. And um, you guys saw what happened. I posted, I updated um, quickly. I was a big hit um, to lose to lose a childhood friend to lose an ideal you know but because we stick to that and we forget like who we are and we get disappointed because we um, we just want to do our own way we just want to do our own way. We think that God will do this for us and this will be amazing. And um, God is like, I didn't, I didn't prepare you for that. You know, you know exactly what I've prepared you for. I didn't prepare you for that. Um, trust, trust the process, trust the healing. You need to heal. You need to heal all your misconceptions you need to heal all your past traumas everything that you've been brainwashed with all your like bad decisions and you you need to heal that acknowledge that and give it in god's hands you know you need to you, it can't you can't let the old man affect the new man you can't let the old man condemn your new man the new man the new creation you can't let the old thing affect your new creation that you are you are worthy of waiting um you are worthy to be found you are um you know like don't rush into those things because you feel like you're old and <laughs> you feel like it needs to be now or never like no no because you don't need like two million men you just need one and god has that one god has it but it's not your job to find him it's not your job to like worry about it okay yeah hope this encouraged you and um i'll be back soon little by little but it's gonna be different it's gonna be a bit different than what it used to be okay so um it's gonna be a little transition in what I'm saying and it's gonna be a lot of Bible study okay I'll see you soon bye bye